Tonight, a Putnam County man was sentenced to 33 years behind bars for his role in a Lafayette murder case. This afternoon, Jeremiah Thompson will spend several decades in prison and time on supervised probation for his part in the April 2010 shooting of Corey Rogers. News 18's Brittany Tyner was in court today for the sentencing hearing. She reports Thompson asked the Rogers family for forgiveness while the Rogers family is just ready to move on. 30-year-old Jeremiah Thompson walks out of the courtroom Friday afternoon as family members try to ease his mind. Thompson was sentenced to 33 years in prison and two years supervised probation for his role in the 2010 murder of 21-year-old Corey Rogers. The sentencing comes after a plea agreement. In January, he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit robbery and conspiracy to commit burglary for the part he played in the murder. He was facing anywhere from 20 to 30 years behind bars. He was realistic enough to know that he wouldn't get 20. Uh, he was hopeful that he wouldn't get 33 as he, as he did. Uh, but the, the number 25 was his own uh, number that he came up with, recognizing that there were aggravating circumstances that the court was going to hold against him. Thompson's criminal history was brought up against him. The list of crimes include theft, possession of marijuana, and operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Friday in court, Corey Rogers' mother had the opportunity to address Thompson. She told him this will not be his only judgment day, and when the next judgment day comes, he will not have a plea agreement to hide behind. She stated several times she and her family are ready to wrap up this part of their lives. They wanted finality. They wanted to end this chapter in their life. And with this uh, sentence, uh, this defendant cannot appeal, so his case is, is truly ended. Thompson took his turn to address the Rogers family. He told them he was sorry and that one day he hopes they can forgive him. One of the uh, important aspects of it, I believe, was that it, his own words that he wasn't making any excuses. Either way, the final sentence to this notorious murder case has wrapped up. Prosecutors are glad there's closure for all individuals and all families involved. Brittany Tyner, News 18. Thompson has already served more than 700 days in prison for the 2010 crime. Prosecutors say that will go towards his sentencing. Last summer, Edward Zaragoza was sentenced to 120 years in prison for his role in the murder. Thompson went to trial in August, but it ended in a hung jury. That's what led to the plea agreement.